Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, Paducah, Kentucky. Check us out online at chasecoach.com. Over 200 pictures, full description, price, everything at chasecoach.com. If you're in the market for a like new pre-owned Renegade Icon, I have the nicest one in the country right now. I've got a 2015, more options than probably any other Icon we've ever had, okay? This thing was way ahead of its time in 2015 from the full customized paint um, to the custom transmission. This truck has a Eaton Fuller 13 speed ultra shift in it. It's the only Icon I've ever seen that did not have the six speed Allison. And for a lot of you guys in, that are shopping this market, that's gonna be an upgrade. I've had a lot of people in the past that would have bought an Icon. These people come from the trucking industry. They want the nicest RV made. They want it on a full size semi chassis, but the hang up is always been they don't want a six-speed Allison. And I've really never understood why. I think Allison makes a great product. You see it in a lot of equipment, a lot of buses have it, a lot of dump trucks, etc. But these guys always called and go, hey, does that have a, by chance, does it have a 12 or 13 speed in it? And my answer is no, I've never seen one without a six-speed Allison in it. So this is a 2015 Freightliner Cascadia chassis. 18,000 pound steer axle with the dual tandem 20,000 pound drives on the back. This is a twin screw truck, meaning both axles on the back push the truck. It's not a, a tag axle, okay? This is the real deal. 22,000 original miles. 22,000, yeah. Super low for a 2015. It looks brand new inside and out. And again, if you go to chasecoach.com, I listed out all of the like build specs from Renegade. This thing had a whole extra sheet of options, okay? Way ahead of its time in 2015. As I mentioned earlier, the paint is a one-off paint job. You will not find another one like it or copied. Um, something else, we put brand new Michelins all the way around last week. So this truck has brand new Michelins. They're dated the 11th week of 2023. It does not get any newer than that. So 10 brand new tires. Retail value, uh, about 12,000 um, bucks. Go price the Michelins, you'll see. So about 12 grand in tires, just installed, mounted, balanced um, at our, uh, our shop here locally. 140 gallons of fuel on board. Uh, it's got twin 70 gallon tanks, 12,500 watt Onan diesel generator on it. And again, look at the paint. I mean, wow, 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 wow. When the gentleman called me with his coach for sale and told me what he had, um, I, I was interested after I saw it, I was very interested. Love the paint scheme, 40,000 pound hitch, uh, it already has your seven-way RV plug on the back. It's got um, the coaches pre-wired for the Voyager backup camera. It has the fittings. They're capped off there, but we can put the glad hand fittings on. No problem if you have a trailer with air ride or air brakes. It has the full-length Zip D awning. So that awning's probably 30 foot, I would say. Every bit of it. One piece comes off. It has the, I don't have them turned on. Obviously, it's daylight out here now. But um, it has the full-length LEDs that run along the awning rail. Quad slides, so you've got two slides on the driver's side, two on the passenger. It has outdoor entertainment. Oh, and something when you're looking at the pictures that you're not going to see, but is included is a brand new Dometic outdoor cooler. The one that was in it, it got cold, but it didn't get cold enough. Um, and so we have a brand new one ordered that I think will be here in the next day or so that will be included. So to have a brand new Dometic outdoor sliding cooler on the tray included, okay? Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, Coach and Trailer Sales, Paducah, Kentucky. If you're in the market for a like new pre-owned motorhome or trailer, give us a call today or check us out at chasecoach.com. Lots of inventory in stock, normally something to fit every budget. Financing available, we deliver nationwide and we accept trade-ins too. I would love to earn your business.
All right, so I've got all these storage bays opened up. We'll uh, ski through these real quick. First bay is gonna be your chassis batteries, which are gonna be the black batteries with the yellow label on top. The batteries on the bottom are the house batteries. It's two of the AGM. Uh, they are interstate brand 8D, so like number eight Delta. Fully sealed batteries, maintenance free, meaning you never have to check the acid level uh, or worry about them. All of the batteries on this coach are brand new. The ones on top, which are the engine starting batteries for the Cummins engine that's in the front of it, those are brand new. And then the bottom ones for the house, we just put those on last week. And look at the just the compartments on this thing. I mean, clean as a pin. Take a look at just how neat, okay? Even the, the look at the back side of the door. I mean, no scratches, no dings. This thing would pass for a 23 model any day of the week. Second compartment back is going to be the outdoor, in, uh, it's actually called Outback, excuse me, Outback brand inverter. It's 2800 watt, that's that box over there on the left. And then over here on the right is going to be the HWH pump, which is running your automatic leveling and your hydraulic slides. So we get a lot of calls and people are going, hey, I'm looking at a, a classic or I'm looking at an XL. How does that compare to an Icon? Well, the answer is there's a whole lot of difference. I mean, I guess you could say the general overall construction of the coaches are similar, but for instance, the HWH hydraulic leveling versus equalizer, the HWH hydraulic slides versus the Swintec electric slides, major, major, major cost difference just in the components alone, okay? The next two compartments are gonna be the 75 gallon black and gray tanks. The next one's gonna be your water bay. Again, all of these storage compartments are bed lined or rhino lined or whatever you wanna call it, but these are just so simple to understand. I mean, for, for instance, you have a, a powered fresh water hose, which is, it's setting uh, right here. So it's under here, you can see it's on a reel down there. When you wanna put water in the coach, you just move that green lever there. When you wanna do city water, you take pressure from outside and raise it up. I mean, it's just bulletproof, idiot proof, whatever they call it, it's it's there, okay? 12.5 Onan, 1,405 hours on the meter. We just serviced it, so you're good for another 200 hours, no problem at all. Final compartment is storage, uh, your automatic transfer switch, your powered shore reel and a 50 amp powered outlet. So what you can do, let's say you're pulling a trailer and you want to plug in. You can run your power from your trailer up through that little black circle in the floor and plug right in to the 50 amp and, and run off the generator of the coach. 600 horse ISX 15 Cummins under the hood. The right rear storage compartment is gonna be just storage. Next one up is gonna be storage. The uh, black back there is one of the Gentry exhaust systems. So that mounts on the back of the coach and vents the generator exhaust fumes up and, and over the coach. Uh, the next compartment up is storage slash, this is where the Dometic outdoor cooler will go, okay? So you can actually see the holes in the floor where the track was. Um, we removed the whole thing. We're gonna put a brand new setup in it. Next one is more storage and the little custom wood shelves are cool. I mean, that's something that can be removed if it wasn't of your liking. Next compartment up is the 600D Aqua Hot, okay? So there's another a major upgrade uh, if you're looking at a Classic or an XL. And I'm not downing a Classic or an XL. I sell more of those than I do anything, okay? But I'm just trying to explain some of the differences to you if you're on the fence or if you're looking at an icon and you're trying to figure out what makes an icon an icon, here's another one of the major differences. In your classics and your XLs, you have a 450 series Aqua Hot, okay? This has the 600, which means the BTU rating, the amount of heat that it can produce, uh, especially if you're in a very cold climate, uh, is um, drastically different. This has the 600, uh, which I think is the biggest one that Aqua Hot makes. Don't quite quote me on that, but I think I'm correct. All right, and the final compartment is more storage. Again, the little wood shelves are there. It makes it where you can easily stack stuff without stacking it on top of each other. But if you don't need the wood shelves, we can easily remove them. Um, Samsung Outdoor TV, 
with a Bluetooth stereo system, some Sony Explode speakers there. Very nice setup for the outside. Thermal pane, the frameless glass windows, you can see gives the coach a super, super smooth appearance. Uh, does have the Trimark keyless entry, which comes with two key fobs, and then you can also just enter your code. Um, another icon difference, it comes with what they call the 3000 series heavy duty side entrance door. I mean, just everything, all the things component wise uh, are upgraded. So let's go check the inside out. All right, tiled floor, and I like the way they laid the tile. Okay, same special this month. We're continuing the sale. You buy the rug, the coach comes with it. All right, so diamond pattern tile floor. Very, very clean. I couldn't find any nicks, any scratches, any scuffs, anything on the floor either. And it's all heated, okay? So 34 foot, I believe, of floor space and all heated. The only carpet is up here in the cab and underneath the dinette where your feet would go there. Okay, up in the cab, we have an air ride driver and passenger seat. Again, we have a 13 speed ultra shift automated transmission with a 600 horsepower Cummins under the hood. We have in-dash navigation, uh, in-dash stereo. Everything is super easy to operate on this coach. 22,000 original miles on it. Overhead, we've got your um, cabinet with your water pump switch, your storage box lights, your, um, your hydraulic slide switches for the two slides up front, your leveling switch, your air conditioning, your heated floors, your inverter, your aqua hot, lots of things up in this cabinet, but look, so easy to do. It is not rocket science at all. Like it's very, someone could come in this coach and not know anything about it and literally be camping in it the same night, you know, with everything functioning. It's that easy. Samsung TV, and I'm going to say the TV's newer. I feel like the TV's been upgraded in this coach. It just seems like it is a little newer than the build. Um, home theater system up here in the main living area, and they added it to the back bedroom. For instance, another one of those upgrades I was telling you about, 1300 bucks, I think, to add the home theater back in the bedroom. Has the WineGuard Traveler Pro, which is the big dish that comes up off the roof and um, spins around and locks in signals. So this is a front entry, but what it does, it gets you a much larger kitchen space, okay? So door in the front makes this one slide out huge there on the passenger side. Also, I mentioned both seats were air ride, but they also swivel around. And if you go to the photo album at chasecoach.com, you'll see where I had them raised up, spun around. So when you're back here hanging out, it gives you, you know, more seating. Starting out here on the driver's side, we have a Villa leather sofa that uh, seats three people, super comfortable, but also turns into a bed, a queen size air mattress. Uh, that dude folds out and makes an unbelievably comfortable mattress to sleep on. Um, you have a dinette that seats four. It does not turn into a bed. That is doable. Um, the only problem with trying to do the dream dinette brackets to where the it makes the table leaf float up and down is the table in this. This has granite countertops. Let me tell you how heavy a piece of three foot by four foot granite is. It's very heavy, okay? And your classics and XLs, they use a lot of Corian and stuff that's way lighter weight. So, you know, it allows it to float up and down and turn into a bed. This guy here, he's heavy, okay? We tried it in one icon one time. Yeah, I wasn't super impressed with how it turned out. It was, it was a pain, it was very heavy. Both of the booths here for the dinette do have storage under them, drawers, and yeah, all of the original remotes are included, plus both sets of original keys, plus some keys that we're not really sure what they go to. They come with it as well. All of the original touch-up paint from Precision Paint, the, um, the shade remote, it has power night shades, manual days, all of the original owner's manuals. I mean, you can get a good look at all this, everything included. I mean, this is, I called it the last time I had something 
this pristine in this age. I called it a barn find. And my wife, Lauren, who edits the videos for us, said, Dylan, don't call that a barn find. That's not a barn find. Well, whatever you want to call it, this is one of those coaches that um, – has been used very little, but has been put up and maintained. It hasn't been just um, stuck somewhere and, you know, batteries go dead and, and tires are flat when you go get it. The gentleman that had it, I think he owned a body shop and um, very, very clean particular people, okay? So this, so this um, over here on the passenger side, we've got a 54 inch, another villa piece. It's a love seat that turns into a little jackknife bed. And then we move into the kitchen has one of the Fisher Pikel dish drawers, dishwasher, two burner Kenyan cooktop. We move on up to the GE convection microwave and then a huge stainless sink. So this coach is built for living in it or entertaining. You have lots of space to cook and clean up. I like the mirrors with the beveled edges. Again, that's something you don't see in like the 22, 23 models. I'm a fan of those. I think it makes the coach look more high-end, more ritzy, more ooey-gooey, whatever you want to call it, okay? Has a 20.7 cubic foot GE fridge. French door on the top with a pull-out freezer on the bottom. Let's open it up, show you in this. Guys, I don't know that I can tell anything's ever been in it. I mean, it's like it, clean, clean, clean. Has the ice maker built into the door, these custom little rubber things here. When I looked at it, I actually called the previous owner. I said, did you replace the fridge? He goes, no, that's what came in it. I said, well, I was just wondering. It looks brand new. Uh, it is a bath and a half. So we have a half bath here, Tecma, electric flush, macerator toilets. Um, something else I want to point out before I forget. This coach has wainscoting, okay, which means it has the wood paneling, which is painted and stained, okay, to match. Half bath which has a little sink, vanity, overhead, mirror, medicine cabinet there. Plenty of room to get in and do your business. Um, half bath, so if you're entertaining or um, if you and the missus want separate bathrooms, this is the coach for that. Again, I mentioned earlier, granite countertops. Something I want to point out though, cherry cabinets, okay? You see a lot of maple in these coaches. Full-blown, high-grade cherry cabinets. The finish alone, okay, the finish alone on the build sheet was, I think, eight or $9,000. It does have, here in the hallway across from the fridge, it does have the Splend Splendid washer and dryer. So we have the washing machine on the bottom and the dryer on the top with the louvered vented doors there. Over here between the washer dryer and the half bath is your hydraulic slide controls for back here in the bedroom. On the bedroom, we'll start on the passenger side. We have lots of storage. Again, I mentioned earlier the home theater system. You can see down here with a DVD player included, all down there in that cabinet. Samsung uh, matching TV, a little smaller than the one up front, but the same style and brand, and just loaded with cabinet space. Uh, even the inside of the cabinets um, this little wardrobe area is finished with like a high gloss coating. Um, has a clothing rod up top there that runs full length. King size bed, okay? And she is comfy. I gave it the bed test earlier and it passes a 10 out of a 10. You've got 150 gallons of water under the bed. Fresh water, 150 gallons under the bed there. King size bed, big window, uh, some more cabinets, some reading lights. Uh, you have a, a switch down here where you can start the generator if you wanted to fire it up manually. Uh, and this coach also has automatic generator start. We can help you set all that up and, and everything. And I mentioned, I think, heated floors. Uh, it is dual zone, so you have one zone that covers everything up front, and then you have another zone that does the bedroom and the bathroom. All right, here's one of the most I always love the showers. The Icon showers are just over the freaking top, okay? Grouted, kind of a natural stone with matching tile that matches the floor, but you got like a little diamond pattern that matches the white diamond pattern in the floor. See it there, the little squares? But you have it in the bathroom. I 
friggin' love it, okay? I'm always blown away by the showers, just the craftsmanship at Renegade. Um, they just do amazing work. These things hold together, bouncing down the road. You have to think about, an RV is like your house bouncing down I-24 through Kentucky. I mean, think about what would fall apart or, or whatever, and these things hold up incredibly well. So back here in the master bath, we have another Tecma electric flush toilet with a macerator, uh, which is over here on the wall. You have your controls for the uh, heated floors back in the back area, um, more granite countertops. I love the sink they chose, some cabinets, uh, mirror medicine cabinet overhead there. It has the solar charging system. It has the three roof airs, the low profile 15K BTU roof airs. So one up front, one here kind of mid coach, and then one in the uh, bedroom that's dedicated to just the bedroom. 22,000 original miles, 13 speed Eaton Ultra Shift transmission with the ISX 15 600 horse Cummins. And I, I know I'm forgetting so many things. Again, when I was reading the build sheet, I was like, holy cow, I'm not going to remember half of that. But anyways, point is, loaded up like new. And let me tell you the best part. We don't publish the price on YouTube because a lot of times these videos will stay on there for, for a shoot. Um, I'm going to say you know, forever. I mean, I don't plan on ever deleting them. So anyways, if someone buys the coach for privacy of them, we don't publish the price on there. Uh, but you can go to our website, chasecoach.com, to view the price. And if it's still available, I'm, what I want to tell you, a new Icon, a 23, is running north of 900 grand. This coach is going to be a shade above half price. And I'll leave it at that. It is a bargain if you're in the market for an icon, okay? Give us a call. Dylan Thompson, Chase Motorsports, coach and trailer sales in beautiful Paducah, Kentucky. Look forward to hearing from you. Oh, yeah. I forgot to tell you, as always, trades accepted, financing available, and we deliver nationwide. Again, we accept trade-ins. We have some great financing options, and we deliver nationwide. I would love to earn your business. Give me a shout.